Welcome to the world of call center agents. If you are intending to join the call center industry and become a call center agent, then this is the right time for you. And please watch my video till the end because I'm going to discuss to you the processes from the beginning up to the end until you are to the floor. So, para malaman nyo kung ano ba ang mga proseso ng what is expected of you in the recruitment hub or sa recruitment offices, ay dapat alam nyo ang mga nangyayari doon and how you're going to tackle these hurdles in joining the call center as a call center agent. Okay? Alright. Ngayon. As a fresh graduate, because sa call center kasi hindi naman nila hindi sila very particular about educational attainment. As long as you have 60 units in college or you are a senior high school graduate, okay na. Because they're not very particular about your degree. As long as you are very conversant in English and you are available to work any time of the day, any day of the week, then this is the right place for you, be a call center agent. Okay? Fresh graduates and tenured applicants are well accepted sa BPO industry. Alright. Now, iti discuss ko sa inyo ang mga processes where you're going to uh, undergo until you are finally accepted as a call center agent. Alright. Pagpunta nyo sa recruitment hub or recruitment office ng mga call centers, you will undergo to register sa kanilang dashboard or <clears throat> sa kanilang systems where you're going to indicate or sulat mo din yung name mo, your address, your date of birth, number of years mo sa experience mo bilang call center agent if you are a call center agent before, at <clears throat> kung ano ba yung mga line of educational attainment mo na pwede mong i-offer sa kanila as your strength in your educational attainment. Alright? And then after entering sa dashboard, after you have registered na yung, yung details sa kanilang systems, then you will undergo assessment. Sa ibang call centers kasi, ang ginagawa nila, it's a different process. Where you have to send your CV muna, and then they will review your CV, your curriculum vitae, or your biodata. And then they will call you for a preliminary interview. Some call agents do the other way around where you have to <clears throat> undergo uh, data entry muna sa kanilang dashboard and then they will find out exactly what your informations are indicated in there and then from there they will, you will undergo assessment kagad agad. Sa assessment, there are processes and steps that you are going to undergo. Alright? But before that, pakilala ko muna sa inyo, this is going to be your wife or your husband sa call center floor because without this you will not survive without this you will not be a call center agent so take care of this this is your headset that will be issued to you once you are already in the floor called headset and this will be very beneficial in your journey as a call center agent okay now let's go to the assessment area Okay. First part of the assessment is that you will undergo English grammar tests. Dito, they will give you around 10 to 15 questions where you're going to fill in the blank ng laman. One sentence and then you fill the blank. For instance, uh, one, for example, I blank to Manila tomorrow. Magbibigay sila ng three suggested answers. A. Will travel. B. Will went. C. Goes. So, ano ang tamang sagot doon? You will fill the blank and check the correct answer, which is, I will travel to Manila tomorrow. So, you will tick mark, will travel. Okay? That's the uh, English grammatical check. It runs around 10 to 15 questions and and then after that you will undergo the next set of examination which is English pronunciation. 
Okay, you will repeat words that are to be indicated. You will read the word, and or sometimes you need to check muna whether what is the correct pronunciation of the word, so that you will follow correctly. But if you are confident, then you just read what is written there. Example, production. Pasayan mo yung word na production. Example, meron na kalasura dun, rapport. If you are not familiar or if you are not well versed with the correct pronunciation of the word, then there is an example there where they will indicate or there is a word there in the systems na sasabi niya yung correct pronunciation. And then you just follow. And then you click again. And then some of the words like withdraw or word like clear or went or great. Ang tip lang dito sa question na to, sa assessment na to, is that you have to speak in a loud and clear manner. Repeat, loud and clear manner. Okay? Kasi pag hindi na rinig ni systems yung word mo, even how beautiful your intonation is, bagsak ka doon. Bababa ang grade mo doon. So you have to read it loud and clear. Pabayaan mo na muna yung, if you cannot speak it in a fast way, do it in a normal way. But it should be loud and clear. Okay? All right. Then, after that, you will undergo uh, another set of assessment, which is reading a paragraph. Normally, sa assessment na to, babasahin mo ang isang paragraph in English. Again, you have to practice muna if you want to, but then if you are confident enough, then you can read directly what is written on screen. All right? Example ng mga paragraph nila, which ranges from two to three sentences up to how many, ganon, ay yung mga opening spells na ginagamit sa production line. Like for instance, yung word na, thank you for calling, or thank you for calling XYZ company, my name is Ricky, how may I help you? Mga ganon. So parami ng parami yung mga sentences doon in one paragraph. But you have to read that correctly, you have to read that correctly, loud and clear. Again, it should be loud and clear. Okay? Don't forget that because you have to amaze points. This is where you're going to pass your examination to the next stage of your interview process where you have to have more points in this pronunciation because it's very important. It's a call center. You have to be able to speak in English well enough. Okay? With clarity. Hindi naman kinakailangan na you have to follow the Western accent because we are Filipinos and as long as we are understood well, then that's good enough. Okay? Now, the third set of assessment naman is your situational judgment check. Dito, you will be allowed to watch a short clip video na nag indicate doon ang situations where a call center agent will have to answer later on the best and the worst answer sa ibibigay nila three suggested answers based sa situation based sa situation na napanood mo sa video okay you will just answer bests and worsts or click the best and the worst answer sa tatlong suggested answers na ibibigay nila sa situation na napanood mo sa video all right this runs around 10 to 15 questions again, and uh, you have to analyze properly. Nasa sa na yun, if you, you know what is right and wrong, di ba? If you are a, a customer service representative, or you are good in public relations, or customer relations, or personal relations, then you would know what is right or wrong when it comes to setting up and it comes to resolving such issues or problems, di ba? Common sense lang yun. Okay. Now, pag napasa mo to, or once you finish this assessment, you will undergo a personality check, or it's called psychological tests. Dito, it's again a multiple questions, na ranging from 50 to 85 to 100 questions, situational questions regarding a personality, a person's uh, personality. Ginigates nila dito who you are. 
actually there is no right or wrong so question dito but then they're just very particular about knowing who you are what is your strength and weaknesses how far can you go what are stressful matters how do you perform or what are your opinions on certain matters Ganon. so this is the purpose of this examination your personality or psychological examination okay so examination na to, so psychological exam na to, uh, you will be given scenarios or you will be given a certain personality trait. For instance, example, makikita mo dun sa personality trait na you feel challenged when you prompted to solve issues. And kakaroon ng two characteristics dun. One, sasabihin dun, gets excited to work. Or another right is you are inclined to take it for granted. Pipili ka lang doon kung alin doon that fits you, your personality. Okay. Some other questions will crop up sa personality or psychological test like uh, I am a extrovert, introvert. Pipili ka lang. If you are a go-getter and you are friendly or you are not ashamed or you are an action person, then you are an extrovert. But if you are a reserved person, then you are an introvert. So, it depends on the personality. Mo. You just click which one determines your personality. Okay? Then, yung mga question na to will come up maybe three or four times along the way. And for instance, the first question, sinabi mo, you are extrovert. And then the next question, sinabi mo, you are an introvert. Then there is a disparity. But still, they will have to analyze it again in the long run. Okay? Meron ding question doon na lalabas na in a party or during large gathering of crowd, I tend to be the eyes of the crowd or the party. And then, I tend to be happy being a bystander. Pili ka lang doon kung alin nang suited sa iyong personality. If you are an extrovert, then you are the eyes of the party. You want to be the eyes of the party. But if you are an introvert, you just want to be or just satisfied to be a bystander or part of the group. Alright? Okay. Those are the psychological questions in a test that they are trying to gauge your personality. This is where, in the long run, the hiring manager or the talent acquisition specialist will determine where you're going to be fitted, kung saan ka ba nila i-endorse later sa LOB nila or line of business na sineservisan nila. If it's going to be stressful account, like toxic account, then they know where you're going to place you. If it's going to be a normal account or it's just an easy account, then they know where to place you. It depends on the outcome of your personality test and of course the total assessment test. Okay? Now the next test will be a spatial test. Alright? This is where they're going to gauge your reflexes, kung gaano ka ba kabilis. And your eyes, kung gaano ka ba magdetermine ng, ng correct or accurate words or pictures or numbers, etc. This runs around uh, 100 questions stops. And you will have to do it in 4 minutes. Pabilis na nito. Where you're going to check which one is correct or match which one is wrong or unmatch. Doon makikita mo doon halimbawa sasabihin doon makik mababasa mo doon A B C D E and then other side A B C D E then it's correct check it's match. Then mak may makikita kang 1 2 3 4 5 1 4 3 5 1. It's not correct, di ba? Wrong. It's unmatch. Pili ka lang doon, match or unmatch. And you, and you have to do it very fast kasi in 100 seconds, in 100 uh, words, in 100 questions, you will have to do it only in 4 minutes. Kaya dapat mabilis ang kamay mo, mabilis ang mata mo. Okay? Well, it's not about uh, trying to be perfect in that matter. They just want to know how fast are you and how far can you go really. So just try your best. Okay? And then after that uh, spatial test or examination, you will then undergo a typing test. This typing test runs for three minutes long. You will have to type as fast as you can. Now, if you are going to 
be handling a non-voiced account where you will be assigned sa back office ng call center, it requires fast typing because you're going to <clears throat> type because you're going to type emails and communications and it requires a fast typing or speed typing. So, nire require nila dito minimum of 45 words per minute. That fast or more than that. And if you can perform that, then well and good. If not, then there is still another way. If you are going to voice the count, this is where typing speed is not uh, that much important because it's the voice, it's the way you're going to interact with the client counts a lot. You're going to type. If your speed is 25, 35, or 45 better, then it's okay. All right? Because this is a voice account. Okay? Now, after taking all those examinations, up to the typing test exams, there is also an exam which is very difficult for newcomers. This is an examination which is very difficult to be performed by new applicants. Even yung mga season applicants, they, they find it very hard. Kasi this involves a random speed talking in 60 seconds or one minute without dead air. Kasi sa call center, if in three seconds na hindi ka nakapagsalita, that's dead air already. So it's not now applicable karamihan sa mga call centers and they don't allow this or they don't adopt this examination anymore. But they will just depend it to the preliminary interviewer to gauge your fluency in English. Okay? But in this test, there is or there are ways how to pass this. Although they only allow you two times or two chances, but there is a way how to pass this examination. Alright? Now, this is a good point here. This is the uh, best part also here during your journey in the middle of your journey if you pass the assessment the initial assessment then you will be endorsed to another interviewer by the talent acquisition specialists after passing this assessment then you will be endorsed to undergo a preliminary interview okay this is a preliminary interview na to you will be asked questions regarding what you have written sa registration mo kanina. Your first line na trinabaho mo when you entered the recruitment hub where you entered all your personal information and details. You will be discussing that with your interviewer sa preliminary interview. Dito, you will be telling all about yourself and he will ask or she will ask questions about it. What you have done, where you came from, what are your weaknesses, your strength, and what can you offer? Something like that. And then if you pass the preliminary interview, then the interviewer will then endorse you for the final interview. Okay. All right. So final interview, this is where the operations manager or the one in, in charge of LOB or account itself will be the one who will conduct the final interview. And he will determine whether you are go or no go, you, whether you are accepted or not. Okay, so this is where you're going to try your best. Pikay mo na lahat. Ito mo na. Okay, sa final interview na yan. All right. But before going that to the final interview, uh, let me tell you first from the preliminary interview where the interviewer will then have the chance to analyze which account are you fitted. Kaya i-endorse ka niya sa account which is feasible para sa iyo, na kaya mo. Kasi hindi ka nila i-endorse sa hindi mo kaya. Otherwise, nagsasayang lang sila ng panahon and they don't want to waste your time on their time because they also spend a lot of effort in that, in trying to uh, recruit you because it's in a bulk hiring kasi time is of the essence. Maramihan yan. So, it's got to be synchronized. Okay? Alright. So, once you are endorsed a final interview with the operations manager himself or herself, then that's the point where you're going to see the light already. Okay? Now, 
If you pass the final interview, this is the good answer. You will be endorsed to another uh, recruitment staff where he or she will discuss to you a job offer. Bibigyan niya ang rate mo for that position, what are the perks, the benefits, etc., etc., sa position niya. What are the days, what are the uh, requirements. Okay? And if you agree with the contract or the job offer, then he will let you sign a contract. It's already an original contract where you're going to sign and accept. Accept and sign. Okay? All right. So once you accepted the job offer and you signed the contract, on, on that, as soon as you sign your contract, you will be uh, required to undergo a physical examination. They will uh, give you a form where you will go and undertake your physical examination sa accredited medical examiners nila. And then they will also require you to submit your NBI clearance. Okay? So, sa portion na to, you are given maybe 7 days to 14 days to undergo the physical exam and complete your requirements. Alright? And after submitting this back to the call center, and then, on a certain period, they will tell you to report on a certain date because that is going to start your onboarding already. Dito magkakaroon na ng general and department orientation. Dito, sa situation na to, sa time na to, you will have to fill up everything. Information is required, particularly by the call center. Doon mo na submit yung tax account number mo, yung field health number mo, pag number, uh, what else? Your address, everything about you, okay? The information is everything about you. And then they will issue you your ID, your company ID. That's the best part of it as well because that will be a testament that you are now, well, you can call yourself a call agent or part of the company already, okay? After the onboarding process, you will then start your training. Now, this is a 30-day training period. It's a paid training, all right? Nagsusweldo ka na nun. Okay. Uh, inclusive sa 30 days training is your final mock call tests where you're going to do live call na sa floor talking sa client. And that is your final exam. Alrighty. Well, they will determine whether you are going to do nesting inside the floor. Okay? So, in the training, they will teach you everything, including the mock calls. And they will tell you everything which is right or wrong, what is supposed to be expected. So don't worry about it. Okay? And after the mock call test and you passed it with your quality assurance, you will then undergo nesting period of one week. Okay? This nesting period is where you're going to side, sit side by side with the actual train, uh, actual call center agent. Bibigyan ka din nila ng and then you will listen to the practical calls na ginaganap. And in between, you can ask questions sa hindi mo pa naintindihan masyado and then the call center agent uh, who is the one supporting you will tell you everything, the secrets, the ropes of the job. Okay. Take advantage of this one week nesting period because this is where you're going to learn everything. And after this, you will be on your own. Okay? So, that's the best part of it. Minsan nakakakaba. Well, actually, it's nakakaba. Actually, when you start putting your headset, that's where you start to feel nervous. But don't worry. Be confident because being a competent call agent is a good challenging word. Na, you can take it. Alright? Everything is to be taken well enough na you will be able to handle the situation, how bad or worse it may be. Take it from me. And then, after you passed the nesting period, you will then be endorsed to your team supervisor. Okay, your teacher or your course director's training will then endorse you to your team supervisor, to your team. Okay, 
if you are a replacement agent then you will be just to the team which is there already but if you are in a group then your supervisor will accept you you will be endorsed to a certain supervisor who will then handle that team normally say some team there are 16 call agents say some team okay and then you have one team leader or team supervisor all right and that's where you're going then to enter or you're then qualified you're then allowed to enter the production line as an official call center agent prod to the fraud to the prod floor all right as a call center agent you are now in the floor doing your thing as a good call center agent congratulations to your journey okay so that's all for today and I, I hope nakatulong din ako in telling you something about the hiring process the way you uh, go into that stage where you're, you're going to be a call center agent. Hindi rin mahirap, hindi rin madali, but it's up to you, really. If you are that uh, interested, then there's nothing hard about it, okay? It's all about confidence and focus. You can do it, all right? So, hanggang dito na lang muna, and later on, maybe in the next vlog, I will be discussing some more thoughts about what are expected in the floor or some other call center secrets okay but for now i hope that this is the best for now and uh, i hope that i was able to give you a good information about your job application your journey into your job application the hiring process of the call center okay so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you like in the rintong vlog na to and share it to your friends lalo na yung mga fresh graduates pala who would want to enter the BPO industry and so that they would know what is expected in the way they they're going to undergo sa application process okay and mapaghandaan na rin nila whatever it is okay so hanggang dito na lang and see you again next vlog